In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little three-man route combinations that will absolutely torch the Mike Blitz 3 meta defense or pretty much any cover three for a one-play score. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. So if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you. Madden 22 is right around the corner. we got a lot of content that we're bringing to you. We're kind of focusing in the training camp portion of my video series on helping you guys understand these are concepts that will transfer in year in and year out. And so we actually have developed a, a guide for you to be able to walk you through. These are some concepts that have worked before and that I will anticipate will work again in Madden 22. And so I put together a guide of all of my favorite route concepts in this game um, that I've kind of accumulated over the you know 12 plus years I've been playing uh, competitive Madden. So if you want to get that, um, that guide is down in the description of this video. We go over short side concepts, wide side concepts, compression concepts, spread concepts that you can add to literally any formation in any playbook that you're going to be running in Madden 22. So I'd encourage you to get it. It's a one-time fee of 15 bucks and it lasts you for years. We're going to continue to update this. We're going to continue to update this year in and year out um, every off season with more route combos. So if you want to get access to it, it's down in the description. Now uh, the play we're going over in this video is a cover three killer uh, it's really designed and you can do this from five wide empty trade stack really all you need is you it's a wide side of the field two wide receiver passing concept so you don't need a third receiver you don't have to have trips to one side you know that's not what you need with this all you simply need is i believe hot route master or a stock post route or dig route and we're going to show you that in this video so anyways we're going to come out in the meta mike blitz three mabel coverage and then offensively, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to come out and fade out. You could come out in other things if you wanted to. I'm going to give you kind of a couple of different routes that you can utilize this out of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the Meta Mabel coverage, which gives so many people problems. It's this cover three. And really the biggest thing is that this corner route, you'll see right here that why this is so good is if I were to try to throw a corner route to Scotty Miller, that outside third in combination with that flat zone would break on the ball and would make it hard to throw it. I was able to complete it there, but generally they would make it rather difficult to throw um, those type of routes because the cover three out the, the cover three guy is so successful uh, in this package. Another example of something like that would be if I tried to run um, something as simple as this right here, you're gonna see that this out route to circle is gonna get covered by the outside third to the wide side of the field. So because of that, we have to have something that can force them to have to not be able just to sit back and play cover three all game. I still think cover three is gonna be the predominant coverage that you're gonna see a lot of people go to in Madden 22. Um, and so this is a great formula for beating it. So basically all we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply streak the R1. We're gonna take the X and put him on a whip route. We're gonna take the circle receiver, put him on a comeback route. And then we're going to take one of these two receivers over here, and we're going to put one of them on a curl, and we're going to put one of them on a post, okay? Typically, I'm going to put triangle on a post, and I'm going to put square on a curl route. And what you're going to see happen is this R1 receiver is going to cause the middle third, or is going to basically get over the top of the middle third. So let me go into instant replay and kind of show you what happens. I know we didn't catch the ball right there, but hopefully you were able to see the concept that we're basically creating. And what it is is this. So as their quarter, this guy is in the middle third, he's gonna drop back, drop back, drop back. You see though right here, because of the comeback route in combination with the post, you see the safety kind of freaks out for a second and it allows this window to be able to throw the ball over the middle on top of a cover three. So let me show you that same exact setup uh, again and we'll go over kind of what's going on with this. So I'll do you know basically this right here. One little thing that you can do if you wanted to is you could put triangle on a curl and then you could actually motion square in a step. That will also be something that is actually relatively um, successful for us. So you'll see again, we just run this concept and you see that middle third guy just completely glitch out over the top. And as long as you got a speedster there in that slot receiver spot, you're gonna be able to get over the top of the defense. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you a way that you can basically create kind of the same concept without having to have hot route master. Um, Cause I don't like to have, hot, have to have hot route master even though I do typically like uh, or do enjoy the, the ability, I don't like to have to rely on it. So all you can, all you need is, um, you really don't need any route. Um, you can do it all from hot route. So you see here on the right side, everything's a hot route. 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take triangle and I'm gonna put him on a smart routed in route and I'm gonna put square on a curl. So just like that, that's the concept. And now what you're gonna see is this in route should serve basically the same purpose as the post. As you can see, we're able to make him glitch out and we get over the top of the coverage. So that's the basic idea and how we can do this from multiple um, aspects of this formation. So what that's gonna force your opponent to have to do is your opponent is going to have to take his outside corner on the right side of the field, the wide side of the field, and put him into a deep half zone to be able to stop this route. So now what you'll see is if we go with that same setup that we were just going with, you should see now that the R1 receiver, um, we still are able to get him to glitch out, but not enough, and he is able to recover and make a play on the ball. So we're gonna to need to have something that we can go to and you know that's that's basically gonna be able to deal with that that covered shell, which in my bet, you know, is a good corner route. Um, another little thing you can do is you can actually put um, you can actually put that circle receiver on a deep out, and that deep out will get open if they're in a deep half zone. So you see deep half zone, I can throw the deep out route just like so. Now another thing that you're going to notice within this concept is we have fade out and we have some other routes that we can use that are actually relatively effective. One of those routes is this route to uh, the R1 receiver. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the triangle receiver, put him on a post, and then I'm going to put the circle receiver on a comeback route. And what you're going to see happen is this R1 route really angles over the middle really, really well. Um, the one problem is because of the tight end route, because of some of the other things, um, and because of the angle of that R1 route, sometimes that middle third won't glitch out as bad. It is nice though, because that specific route to R1 in this play from fade out is really a unique route. You can smart route it. And you see here that I can make this route go deeper. So if I create that same concept, and then I put that, um, that post route over there on the triangle receiver, I should basically get the same result. Um, and But as you see here, because it's angled, and because that R1 is going into the grid of the player, it does not always work out exactly the way we want it to work out. Um, and that safety, basically that R1 route is going into the grid of the safety a little bit too early um, for it to be you know, exactly what we want it to be. However, if we were to basically do this, um, you'll see right here with that R1, if we leave that vertical streak, you'll see here he completely glitches it still. You don't have to have a comeback. You can leave this fade. And this is a really unique way to run four verticals. It's something that I haven't seen a lot of people do um, in their four vertical offense. So basically what I'm suggesting in this video is that you can actually run four verticals with this. So I could take circle, put him on that, and I'm just gonna streak R1. And then all I'm gonna do on the backside here is I'm gonna take triangle, put him on a, uh, on a post, and then I'm gonna streak the square receiver just like this. And then I can do kind of whatever I want to do with the X. Um, I could drag him on a shallow cross, which I think is a really good way to do it. You know, shallow cross with a curl. Now you have that kind of concept. But really what you'll see is that that middle third glitch, all we need is those three routes that I originally said, where we just need a vertical route on the right, a, um, a streak from the slot, and a post from the backside. Now, really important tip as we kind of wrap this video up is that post route, um, or that dig, it doesn't have to be a post, it can be a dig. So I got a fade out, if you wanted to, you could do this. You could take Evans and put him on the route, as you can see, and then now what I've got is now I've got a lot of vertical routes on the field, um, a lot of vertical routes. Let me show you one last thing with the tight end though. Uh, I just wanna show you one little thing with this, but basically um, the, the one thing I will say is your, 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 um, your route to, the, like to Miller, the streak route has to be on the wide side of the field. You can't run that to the left side or to the short side of the field. So let me go back a little bit here and just reset on this play here. So you're gonna see Evans is going on the post and that's the only adjustment we're gonna make. And what you should see here is R1 should still be able to completely, and I think it's because of the, yeah, because of that tight end crosser, that tight end crosser kind of comes in the window of everything. So let me show you that one more time because I think I forgot to put the R1 on a streak. But this is just going to give you another person or another route that your opponent has to worry about over the middle. So you've got this kind of spaceship style concept. You see here we complete, look at this, it completely glitched out that safety. But the problem is because he, because he kind, of, kind of falls into the tight end, the tight end is not going to force that uh, or is going to is not going to give you enough separation we still get him to glitch out but we just don't get him to glitch out enough 
that we can um, that we can easily be able to throw you know another route there. So this, even though this is probably the best way in terms of spacing the concept that we can possibly get, you're going to see here that the R1 receiver is going to get taken up the seam because he's now again he's in that safety's grid zone. He's in the spot where the safety is kind of anticipating him being in a grid, and so that it's really unfortunate in my opinion because three deep thirds should not be able to cover um four to five vertical routes in my opinion I, I i don't understand why they've made it this way but you'll see like right here see he's open but it's really not i mean it's a super tight window and if that's mutt they're a little bit too fast they can get back on the ball so that's why what i like to do is i like to take the tight end uh and go with really my favorite way to run this if i'm trying to glitch out cover three is the way i sh just originally showed you here and basically what that is is i'm going to use heavy verticals so you're going to see here i've got the vertical on the right to Brown, I've got the vertical to Scotty Miller, and then what I'm going to do backside here is I'm going to work a um, a curl, a post, and a drag, just like this right here. This is a really good concept because you've got great vertical passing against cover three, and then you've also got your underneath route. But down to safety can't get back on the ball, and as you can see, we're able to absolutely torch cover three over the top for a one play touchdown. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn my full five wide mini scheme, I'm going to encourage you to get to my true fan membership. I left that link in the description. We released the whole five wide mini scheme here uh, on that true fan membership page. It's really my favorite passing offense in the game. There's so many concepts and so many combinations that you can create from this. It's a lot of fun to run this five wide. And I'd encourage you, if you want to become a better passer, to consider looking into that and also to consider looking into that route encyclopedia guide which is down in the description of this video. Uh, thanks for your support. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via text message.